In this video, quick friendly reminder on battery care with your RC cars. I have two here. This is from a family friend to two younger RCers that we have out there. And they have made one of the fatal flaws with RC. All of a sudden, the trucks are back to me and they're saying, hey, Troy, they don't run. Why is it? You didn't unplug your batteries. All right, so this is a 101 level RC thing. And I see this a lot of the times in the message forums on the Reddit groups and all that other stuff. People are getting done with their trucks. They're flipping the power switch off on their ESC and they're leaving the batteries in. And then they're like, well, hey, why are my batteries dead? And why does my truck not work? Like I said, these are some family friends. Kiddos wanted some RC cars. Clearly they came to me to ask for what should happen. So they were looking for something cheap in order for their kids to get into it. Something they thought would be kind of durable. So I went with the Red Cat Volcano. You can get these for a really reasonable price. And both of these are brushed, which means they're probably not quite fast enough to actually break much. But then occasionally, right, if something does go wrong, they reach out to me and ask for help. When these just came back into my garage and they said, hey, both the trucks don't work and we don't know why, can you help us out? First thing I did was take the body off and that's what I saw. Here we go, battery left plugged in. Yes, the vehicle is off, but the battery's plugged in. And you would think that that's okay, power switch is off, but with most ESCs in the RC industry, even with the power off, they're not really all the way off and they're still draining electricity a little bit out of these batteries. You come back a week later or whatever it is and you'll find that the voltage of your battery is at zero all the way dead. And even if you're using a slightly better charger like this unit from Hexfly for nickel metal batteries, it still really, really struggles to put any life back in that battery. So every time, no matter what kind of battery you're using, no matter what ESC it is, no matter what vehicle it is, if you are done, unplug the battery, leave it unplugged every time. And if you're using a LiPo battery, you need to go get that thing into storage charge. You don't wanna leave it in there. You don't wanna leave it in the truck. You need to get it out, you need to go uh, if it's a nickel metal battery, you can charge it back up. If it's a lipo battery, you need to go put it in storage charge. Basic 101 level RC stuff here, but there's folks out there that need to hear it. The other point of this is look at what Traxxas has actually done with their ESCs. If you look at most of the newer Traxxas ESCs, they actually, the power button on the ESC won't actually turn the power off on it at all. The only way to turn the ESC off is actually by unplugging the battery. And at first that seems really silly, except it's to fix this exact issue. I'm betting Traxxas had a bunch of new folks because a bunch of new folks tend to fall into the Traxxas trap, if you will, and get those brushed two wheel drive Traxxases with nickel metal batteries. They probably have a bunch of younger folks out there that end up leaving their batteries charged in and then calling the help desk and saying, hey, what the heck? And so I am guessing that's what happened and why Traxxas has made that switch on their ESCs. And let's be very clear, I knew that this might be a risk, with these folks when I gave them this vehicles. So that's why I actually stuck them with nickel metal batteries instead of lipos. If you do this with a lipo, it gets even worse. If you mishandle a lipo, you could get into swelling and potential fire issues. So that's why nickel metal battery. And unfortunately, that's why I'm gonna probably spend, I just looked at it, $50 for two of these to get their vehicles back up and running. Uh, because like, man, for 50 bucks, I could buy two like really good lipos for this and they would run longer. It would run faster. Everything is better, but I, I gotta stick with the nickel metal cause I can't quite trust them in order to unplug the batteries. Every I hope this video was useful. And if you needed to know it, if you, if you had to hear this message, please heed it, please unplug your batteries when you're done. If you have any other technical questions, I have a playlist over here that might help you out. Uh, otherwise, leave them down in the comments below and I will respond in as quickly as I can and help get you the information you need. So thank you for watching and goodbye.